It's Xfinity High School Football as Concord takes on Clayton Valley. Hello again, I'm Joe Castellano along with Marty Lenz and this is for the Clay Court Cup. What a rivalry these two teams have. Clayton Valley though, they come in seven and one. They've won seven in a row since losing to De La Salle. So Concord is going to have its hands full tonight. Yeah, well, they, they gave up a lot of yards last week against College Park. So there's a concern tonight because Clayton Valley knows how to run the football. But these are two teams very familiar with each other. The boys, young men on these teams, they played Little League together, junior high, middle school, and now a lot of them playing at the rival high school. So these are guys that know each other. Bragging rights literally on the line tonight for the Clay Court Cup. Well, Mitch Daniels, the quarterback for Concord, has great numbers so far this year. 25 touchdowns, four interceptions. Very efficient. Yeah, he's a good quarterback. And here's the amazing thing. He has four guys with 30-plus receptions on the team. So he's got guys he can throw the ball to. He's a good ball distributor. And we talk about that all year, about a guy that knows how to handle the ball and knows to get it to the right place. That's what Daniels does. Well, Clayton Valley, they can run the football with Miles Harrison, almost 900 yards on the ground and 15 touchdowns so far. Yeah, a game against Skyline, he had five touchdowns, three of them rushing, two others on special team punt and kick return. But what really is impressive, in that opening game against De La Salle, everybody knows is a powerhouse, really one of the best teams in California. 175 yards and a touchdown, 24 carries. He is a big time performer and player. He's going to need to bring it tonight against Concord, and I think he will. He's a great player. It could be a lot higher scoring than maybe the coaches want it to be, you know, especially the defensive coordinators. Yeah, the only big differentiation is the fact that Concord chews up a lot of clock. Clayton Valley does not, and, and I mean, that's great if, if you can sustain the drive, but but in the case of if, if you're dr driving and you know chewing up five or six minutes and your opponent's three and they've got the score on you, you're never going to catch up. Well, two and a half to go in the half. And so here comes the kickoff. And taking it is Blackburn. Blackburn knocked down as he crosses the 25. Conquer will have it there. Harrison, two TDs tonight. First one from 13 yards out. Yeah, he's just got a great running back body. He's got those powerful, I call it those Earl Campbell type of legs. Google Earl Campbell if you want to remember. But he's just a great, solid, you know, runner with nice fleet of foot. And able to dive to the last touchdown. Patience is a great skill to have a running back, and Harrison was one of those kids that's got patience. Patience to let things develop, let his line do his job. He, he, he reads his blocks well. First 10 at the 26 for Concord. Down 20 to 8. Daniels over the middle. Juggled and then caught by Knight. Spins his way and gets the first down, I believe. And that's going to be close where they're marking it. Had to get to the 36, and it's close to the first down. Plenty of time for Concord to get something accomplished here. He's going to be short by a yard, second and one. If you want to conserve clock, though, get to the sideline, maybe throw some out routes versus middle of the field, but still, that's a you know good play. This game is being streamed live on podcasthometownnetwork.com. Here's a pass in the flat, and then a wobbly pass by Knight, and it's knocked down and incomplete as it was juggled, intended for Blackburn. So you had a wide receiver throwing to a running back. And that was not a pretty looking pass. Well, there's many things wrong with it, but the biggest problem with that is you never throw to the middle of the field like that with somebody who doesn't have a, a good enough arm. Throw down the sideline. You're, you're basically, you're just playing football 500. You know, throw up the ball, catch it 100. You're just throwing it up in the air, up for grabs. Can't do that. By the way, the, the stream will be uh, dark for a little bit at halftime. Then we'll be back with the second half as far as the uh, streaming is concerned. We'll watch this game tomorrow. And Sunday as well. There's first down yardage on the reception. Donald Haller is the sophomore. Interested to watch the clock management by these teams and see what they do. Watch this game 4 o'clock tomorrow, 3.30 on Sunday on Comcast 104. Remember that. First of 10. Ball at the 46. Daniels looks around, throws to his running back platform, spins at midfield, and then he gets to about the 49, pickup of five. So, you know, Concord's getting back up to the line, but they need to have like two plays called in the huddle. Daniels keeps looking to the sideline, but they should have two plays called right there. As soon as you know you get the one executed, get up and run the next. They have one timeout remaining with a minute three to go in the half. And down 20 to eight, they really could use some points here. Draw play, Blackburn. First down to the 42. Do they take the timeout here? I think maybe run one more play and then call it. That's not a bad play call, but you've got to have another play immediately 
Don't be looking to the sideline. Get it up and get snapped. First down at the 42. Now the clock runs again after they place the football down and move the chains. Daniels steps up, fires near side. Caught by Hollers. First down, nice catch by the sophomore who dropped one earlier, but that time he held on. Well, and he had got a guy all over his back. I, that's a lot harder catch than what you think, because the defender was literally right on him. I mean, right there, head on the helmet and everything, and on the back shoulder. That was a great play. Might have been a horse collar, too, there by the defensive player, Zach Dominguez, but they didn't call it. 20 yards, high snap, Daniels handles it over the middle, and that's caught by Allgood on the run. Allgood inside the 15 and inside the 10 with time running down to 30 seconds. Call it here your timeout. This is when you do it. And of course, they'll stop because of the measurement too. Well, that is going to be a first down, but they're, I believe it's going to be first down unless they spotted that one a little differently than I thought. I mean, it looked like they were going to spot it inside the 10, and now I'm not sure. Let's see about this flag now too. Got a flag. Incidental face mask against the defense. That's five yards. The first down. Well that should bring it to about the five yard line and be first and goal. Tell you what I like that Allgood did on that one. He didn't try to run to the sidelines with time being short. He just turned it up and got what he could. That was that was actually a smart play knowing where you are on the field and how much time you've got left. So that was a good play by Ronnie Allgood. Well it is first and goal. Three receivers to the near side, Knight, all good, and Haulers. Draw play again. Blackburn, touchdown, Concord! Blackburn sniffing out the end zone and got in there, and Concord, here in the final minute of the first half, able to get six. I'll tell you what, that's what the doctor ordered with Concord. That's exactly what they needed to go into the half. Nice play, patience, patience as a running back. Just nice patience by Blackburn, waiting, waiting, and then just using his athletic ability. Boy, he could, he was down. His knee hit the turf. He goes 74 yards in two minutes and six seconds. And now we have a timeout. Timeout, Clayton, Clayton Valley. Valley. They second. want to figure out how to defend this two-point conversion attempt. I know you can't throw the red hanky, but if you go back to that, that replay, his knee was actually down. It looked like his knee hit before he crossed. I don't know if we'll see it in this version of the replay, but the other one definitely looked like his knee was down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was down a good good yard before hitting the end zone. If it was the NFL, we have That's right. You went, yeah, if that was Bill Belichick, <laughs> he'd be throwing that hanky. Yeah, see, he's down. But you can't review, and that's fine. It's high school, but I was just like, he's down. But I tell you what, that's that's what Concord ordered. Nice mix. That, that's one of the first series, a nice mix of run and pass. They've shown they can do both, but they've never really combined them on one singular series. They did it there. Well, this has been a thrilling first half. I'm impressed with both you know, both both the, the big name players, uh, you know, Harrison and, and Daniel so far have lived up to the hype. Well, Clayton Valley went up 13-0, but Concord came back. They had the Gwynn touchdown reception. And now the Blackburn run here after Clayton Valley had scored a TD. And now the Minutemen trail by six. They're going to try to make it a four-point deficit going for two again. They converted earlier. I know they don't kick, but this is why you need a kicker. <laughs> well, they found Knight earlier for two. They're very good at the two-point conversions. Blackburn in the backfield. Two receivers to the near side, two to the far side for Daniels. Looking for two points. Fires it in there, threads the needle, was, and it is good. That was all good for two. That was an amazing throw. He just threw it right in there. Zip. Tattooed it right on the belly. And was that all good? You said that was just yeah. right there. Jeez. I mean, he really fired that in because it looked like double coverage. Oh, he did. He threw right in between. Oh, he did. Yeah. He beat, uh, he beat the one guy just through a second before he got there. That's called throw. He threw to a spot, and all good was right there. That's a nice play by Daniels. 